Hi, it's Mild Red Skin Songbird. I was listening to uh, the smartphone and I heard a man say President Trump uh, was uh, comparable to Osama, Osama bin Laden. And uh, so they asked Diamond and Silk about what they thought about it and they expressed their opinions. And, and so I realized I have a right to express my opinion uh, just as much as the other people. I know more than most because I've been on the inside. So here's my opinion. I saw Osama bin Laden when I was in a, um, let's see, what would you call that? Um, a place where they keep uh, people prisoners. And he used to walk up and down the halls, making laughing sounds, just really hideous, loud laughing sounds. And he did this, and he would also explain what was going on. Like if something was happening, he would he would explain the meaning of it in his own coded language. He had his own language. And he amazed me. His stamina amazed me. His uh, dedication to uh, interacting amazed me. And I used to walk beside him. And he was also, let's see, was he Gorinda Singh? I don't know if he was Gorinda Singh, but I know he was Osama bin Laden. And I know he was Patton. When he was General Patton, he discovered some corruption in the the way they ordered army supplies and he was going to expose them and they said, oh come on, let us, this is penny any stuff, but don't get involved in this, let us, no, he had integrity, he was going to expose them, so they killed him. All right, so then he was reborn as Osama bin Laden and he beat them at their own gang <laughs> game. He understood the obsession with sex because sex is the basis for life. And he understood that the World Trade Center, those two legs up there, those two buildings represented legs of women. And the financial district represented women because women cost money. Uh, Onassa said without women, men would need money. So this is one of the way the men think about it. So by Osama bin Laden blowing up the legs in the financial district, he, 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 he hit the core of the American ego trip. They can afford all women, you know, because they have the money. So that's what that was about. As far as President Trump is concerned, he was Gobin Sin. Gobind Singh, the tenth Sikh guru, and he was a uh, he was on a spiritual mission. I, I don't know what he's got to do with Osama bin Laden, uh, uh, quest for revenge. And I would say that Osama bin Laden got his revenge because he did show how one man could send uh, the American military into. Um, Convulsion, so to speak, you know. And he said, we, we would defeat them because we have religion. They have nothing. He knew. He knew that people's faith was, was not solid. They didn't, they didn't really have faith anymore. Their um, faith had been, had been uh, diminished by corrupt uh, so-called good people. So that's, that's really all I want to say about that. Okay. Michelle Bird's on. My own bird, Songbird in New York. I hope I've given you some light on what is really going on. Because I am the daughter of the sun. The sun is the light of the world. The truth of the world.